today is the first day that people are arriving into Manchester and I just wanted to make sure that from noon onwards there was something that people that are getting off the trains, getting off the mega buses, had somewhere to go, you know, it's a place to meet, it's a place to kick things off and, you know, it's a place to get inspired for tomorrow because the one thing that you do get from this museum that you don't get in very many places is a sense of victory being possible. And can you hear us singing love, 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 love. election means that we now live in a world of possibilities, that we can discuss a lot of things that previously we can't discuss. Most obvious of those things is Trident, you know, there wouldn't have been a debate about that. They would have simply have just rolled it through. The Labour Party would have done up their double-breasted jacket and voted in favour of renewal for fear of looking unpatriotic. Mm. Uh, but now we're going to have a real knockdown fight. The grassroots activists of the UK, of these four countries that we're in, we're telling you no, we are not going to renew Trident. We don't want it there. I personally stay quite near the nuclear base and, you know, it's just, we, we just don't want Trident altogether, but also we don't want it near us. If the Labour Party go, you know, go out and decide that they don't want to renew, that will put them in line with the Liberal Democrats, with the Greens, with the SNP. In fact, the Tories will be the only party in favour of renewing Trident. So it's not such an outsider's uh, idea. You know, the SNP did very well in Scotland, saying they want to get rid of Trident. My parents' generation uh, went through a uh, economic collapse in the 30s and a world war in the 1940s before they realised that everybody in society needs to be helped and we we fritter that idea away at our cost. It took years and years and years to build the NHS and make it what it is today and they're just destroying it and it's, it's not fair because they don't have the right to do that, it doesn't belong to them. The British people when uh, asked generally are, are very uh, empathetic towards people in, in trouble. Working with uh, the O'Sullivan family for the first time, uh, a coroner has ruled that the work capability assessment was directly responsible for the suicide of uh, Michael O'Sullivan. And we began our campaign five years ago in June 2010 when, when our friend took his life. And we know that there are so many other cases like this. You know, as, you know, it's sheer barbarity. Well, they're just bullies, basically, the Tories. They just, they target the most vulnerable and they don't, they don't have, they, they, it's like they don't care about what the consequences are. Although disabled people may find it a lot harder to realise their potential, they're quite capable of doing that, given the proper support. The Tories seem to want to be taken away so many of our rights that are ours and that, um, you know, I wish I'd got into politics a little bit earlier in my life, so I think I would recommend just paying attention. You know what I mean? Paying attention because it's all going off, and I think it's a, we're, we're alive at a very important point now. And although I've always been anti Tory, I've never felt this strong like. The divide, is, the divide is a lot clearer than it ever has been and that's, and that's extremely exciting. The main um, problem, which I believe is, apart from the Tories, is the mainstream media. Because we've felt that for the last sort of year and a half. If the mainstream media have a, a narrative to try and bring you down, they will do that. So I really think the fight for people is not only against the politicians and the Tory party, but the mainstream media.